This Engineering is Elementary Digital How To will demonstrate how to prepare the filter holder for Lesson 3 of Water Water Everywhere Designing Water Filters. This video shows the preparation of one filter holder to be used by a group of three students. To prepare filter holders for the whole class, simply scale up the materials and repeat the same steps. To assemble one filter holder, you will need the following materials. One 2-liter plastic bottle of any color, a utility knife, utility gloves, a permanent marker, and either one size 4 rubber stopper with drip hole or one 2-liter bottle cap plus a hammer and nail or a drill and a drill bit. If you choose to create the optional filter holder stand, you will need an additional 2-liter bottle of any color for each filter holder per each group of students. To create the filter holder, start with the empty 2-liter bottle. You will use your utility knife to remove the rounded bottom of the bottle. You can use your permanent marker to create a line to guide your cutting. The line and cut should be on the straight portion of the bottle just before the bottom curves. We recommend wearing protective work gloves when cutting the bottle. Hold on to the bottle and use your utility knife to remove the bottom. The next step is to create a drain for your filter holder. You can make the drain in two ways, either by using a rubber stopper or by creating a hole in a bottle cap. A rubber stopper with a drip hole is the easiest way to make this drain. To insert the rubber stopper, hold the filter holder with one hand. Grasp the rubber stopper on the larger end and place the stopper into the neck of the filter holder by pushing it through the bottle. It is important that you insert the rubber stopper from the inside of the filter holder. Also, the smaller end of the stopper needs to go into the neck first. This way, the rubber stopper wedges into place and creates a tight seal. This completes the filter holder when using a rubber stopper. Another way to create the drain for the filter holder is to create a hole in the 2-liter bottle cap. To make the hole, you can use a hammer and nail or a drill. We recommend wearing protective work gloves. It is important that the caps all have the same size holes, so use the same size nail or drill bit for all bottle caps. To use a hammer and nail to make the hole in the cap, rest the bottle cap on a flat surface with the threads down and facing the surface. Center the nail on the face of the cap and carefully tap the nail with the hammer. Stop hammering once the nail passes through the cap. You might need to use the claw of the hammer to remove the nail from the cap. Screw the finished cap with the hole onto the threaded neck of the bottle. You can also create a hole in the bottle cap using a drill and drill bit. Rest the bottle cap on a flat surface with the threads down and facing the surface. Center the drill bit on the face of the cap and start the drill. Stop the drill once the drill bit passes through the cap. You might need to reverse the drill to remove the bit from the cap. Screw the finished cap with the hole onto the threaded neck of the bottle. This completes your filter holder when using a cap with a hole for the drain. When testing filter materials in lessons 3 and 4, the filter holder must stay vertical. 
To keep it upright, the teacher guide recommends taping the filter holder to the leg of a chair or table. An alternative method to keep the filter holder vertical is to slide it into the filter holder stand. Using the filter holder stand provides two benefits. First, it eliminates the need to tape the filter holder onto a table or chair leg. Wrapping the filter holder with packing tape can make the filter holder sticky and warp its shape. Second, the filter holder stand allows the filter holder to remain at eye level during testing. To create the optional filter holder stand, start with your extra 2 liter plastic bottle. You will use your utility knife to create a cylinder from the bottle by removing both the top and the bottom. You can use your permanent marker to create lines to guide your cutting. The line should be on the straight portion of the bottle, just before the bottle curves at either end. Use the utility knife to remove the top of the bottle. Now use your utility knife to remove the bottom of the bottle. Try to make this cut at the bottom parallel to the first cut at the top. The filter holder stand will be a cylinder and it should rest vertically on a flat surface. You can use your utility knife or scissors to remove any excess plastic. The finished filter holder stand will be able to cradle a filter holder in a vertical position.